Hi everybody, this is Vitorials. Welcome to this short but I hope helpful Adobe XD tutorial where I am gonna show you how to deal with the gradients. And uh, for all Windows users, gradients is a relatively new feature that was introduced by Adobe team almost 10 days ago. So how to add gradients in Adobe XD? Let's start our tutorial by creating this rectangle. I want to cover all my entire artwork with this, this rectangle. I want to set border to none and I want to open the field and I want to uh, navigate to this chevron icon on top solid this solid color i want to click on it and i want to select from the down menu gradient and uh, as you can see adobe xd automatically adds this uh, default gradient uh, white or gray i can select any color stop i want this is the selected state with the hollow center and this is deselected states of my color stops with the fill in center so i now selected my right color stop and i want to add this uh, red value then i want to go to my yellow values and add this very nice gradient so then as you can see i want to switch to my selection to open the gradients again and I can easily manage my gradients with my selection tool I can change the direction I can drag it like so like so so as you can see this values doesn't update on my uh, gradient slider but I can update it here like so another feature that you can do you can easily select let's say this uh, orange color and you can uh, drag you can change this alpha value that it stands for opacity or you can use this slider on right as you can see i decrease the opacity and increase the opacity i also can add as many color stop as i want just click on the gradient slider and i have this color stop and now i can drag it uh, here on my slider and as well as here I can drag it and I can sample color from here as you can see I can easily manage it no matter how much uh, color stop I have but I can't uh, expand my gradient margins and this is a small tip that I can that I do in Adobe XD I save this color to my swatches this creates this swatch and then i create another color stop and sample the swatch and then another color stop and uh, sample the swatch and this is how my friends i can expand uh, the margins of of the color stop if i need of course so you probably can ask whether or not i can add a gradient for borders the short answer we can't so now i create this uh, 26 points uh, in a border uh, i click on this rectangle to change the color and as you can see i have no options to create a gradient for this border but i can add i can add uh, gradient for any for any shapes I can add it to circle as you can see here and I can add it to the my custom shape that I created with my pen tool and uh, this is one of the interesting questions that you may ask me uh, whether or not I can sample the gradient so I grab my airdropper tool and navigate to my to sample this gradient from bottom shape and as you can see it's add a regular solid uh, color from it and last very interesting feature that i want to show you i want to cover this image that i prepared in advance with the gradient with i want to set fill to this gradient and then change my color stops to something relatively more interesting 
let's say to this gradient and I want to blur this image as you can see I add a uh, background blue that I want to set the number from it and I want to easily control the opacity I can also add some uh, brightness and this is how my friend you can create a relatively complex backgrounds uh, right here inside uh, Windows version of Adobe XD software. So this is the end of this tutorial. I want to thank you for following to the end. If you like this tutorial, please do not hesitate to thumb up, subscribe, share it with your friends. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Thank you.